What's going on peeps? Joshua here and welcome to another random DIY project. So over the past couple of years, I've really experienced some challenges and problems with these adaptive fast charger Samsung chargers. Um, this one's one of the uh, knockoffs. This is supposedly an official one, right? But they go bad and they stop like pretty much charging altogether. But I believe I have found a problem. It could be an internal problem with these. Wah! Wow! Just like that, I have one taken apart. All right, so I actually have three of these little knockers that have been going bust on me. Now I got curious and said, well, let's break one open. And so after many tries, I was able to get this cover off, which revealed this end of this. All right. So then, of course, I took a pair of channel locks and grabbed on gently on the board and slid it out. This is what I discovered. Look closely. Do you see all that black carbon buildup on there? The heat that's transferred? Oh, yeah. It's all sorts of shabba, dude. Now, I'm not really sure if this is still going to work at all, but here's my plan, peeps. I'm going to take this little cord right here, which there's the other end of it in there somewhere. So, I'm going to take that cord. I am going to solder that cable here and here and see if I can get this working again. And if so, what I will then do is drill a hole here, put the cable through there, and then just reinsert it as normal. All right. Well, I'm going to get to it, and I'll let you all know once I get this all soldered up and put together. If it works, stay tuned. All right, peeps. Everything is hooked up. Scope it out. Got the cable soldered on there. Ran it through the little boxy do there. Plugged in right there. Here's the end of it. Woo 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 woo. Right there. Now, I'm going to plug this in. Bada bing, bada boom. 85%. Boop, boop. Is it fast charging? Look at that. Boom. Fast charging right there, peeps. So, yep, that was all it was. A little buggery on that one little connection right there. All right. Problem solved, peeps. Boom. Scope it out. And now I have a long cable, too. So I'll just slide it back in the box. It won't be waterproof, but hey, it'll get the job done for what I need. So there you go. If you're having one of those Samsung adaptive fast charging boxes acting up on you, you could always open it up. And see what's going on inside there now I've opened this one and that one didn't reveal anything but I do have a third one and I'm gonna set the camera up right quick in a different position and take it apart for you and show y'all how that's done be back momentarily all right peeps I'm back and check it out the fast charger is still charging and because I took this white one apart Took a little white cap off. The cap on this one originally broke. However, I was able to retrofit this white cap. And blah, it's color coordinated, don't you know? So there you go. Boom. Works brilliant. Alright, now to show y'all how to take apart one of these little Samsung adaptive fast charging blocks. You can't read any of that. It's black, whatever. But everybody's seen one. All right, what you're going to need, boom, little super tiny flathead screwdriver, pretty straightforward. You're just going to come in here, right in the edge, there's a little groove, you've seen it before, I'm sure. So, gently stick the screwdriver in there and pry the cap out, pry the cap off, just as such. Now being careful because you don't want to mark up any traces or anything but 
I think this one looks pretty clear. I don't know. If you see a large explosion, I'm probably dead afterwards. Anyway, gently ah! grab the board and usher it out as such. And boom, you've got it all apart. Uh, if you wanted to, like I did on this one, um, you can simply place this as such, taking a hammer, hammer down on these male ends right here and they will proceed out of there. Then you can take a flathead screwdriver like that again, and then finish pushing them the rest of the way out. Then just drill you a hole, and you can run a wire through there as such. Yeah, doesn't feel hot or anything, so it's, it's good. Uh, so now it was this one, this one was acting up, but uh, unfortunately, which I had hoped to see, was maybe it was a similar problem to this one. It is not. Not at least uh, anything I can see right away. So yeah, this one will require some probing. This one will require some probing. They look to be nearly identical. So maybe between the two of them, I can find something. I can see the board's a little bit different already. Uh, yeah, so... There's definitely a generation difference between these two boards um, as there is different little traces in places. Uh -huh. See what I did there? Hear what I did there? But yeah, so who knows? Whatever. I've got another fast, uh, fast charging block working great and I still have, I think, two more. So bada bing, bada boom, good to go. Worst case scenario, these will get into the e-recycling um, I can pull the capacitors off, strip the board down, recycle everything individually. Bam. Done. Do your part, peeps. Upcycle and recycle. DIY. Fix your things, peeps. Fix them. Stop throwing them in the trash. All right. That's the best. That's another way to go love thy neighbor. Stop throwing everything away and fix things, peeps. All right. Now, truly. Go love thy neighbors. Oh, and check this out. Here's a cool part. Boom. Whoop. Look at that. Almost nine feet long. And you see that's not even straightened out. Boom. So yeah, not only is it a working fast charger, but it's also nine feet long with that particular cable plugged into the USB port. So bada bing, bada boom. There you go. All right, I'm out of here.